Christine says, I have my big portrait event a couple of weeks ago and it couldn't have been more perfect. Lots of clients were asking to have a reunion because they'd gotten to know each other and hear their stories. I scheduled a coffee date for anyone who could make it and I got a great response. But beyond any uh, beyond getting together and creating fierce friendships in middle age, what should be my goal, if anything? I'll be kept top of mind if they might want to refer me to friends, but I feel like there's a bigger opportunity that I'm not seeing yet. I plan to schedule something for this group of ladies once a month. Okay, this is one of those wonderful things that's great to crowdsource, so I want you guys to put your thoughts in the comments, but here are my thoughts, a couple of thoughts. Um, let's think through this. So there is an opportunity here for you to turn this into a thing. Um, the question is like, what, what should the thing be, right? It reminded me of a photographer that used to be a part of my community ages ago. I had not thought about her in years and years, but she um, she was a photographer who who made most of her uh, revenue from high school. I just realized that my sweater is completely on inside out. Do you approve of this, Scarlett? Because look, there's the tag right there sticking right out of my of my shirt. Um, Nika, were you talking? Because I couldn't hear you. <laughs> just said that's so funny and amazing. I mean. I have been going all around the place. What she would do is, so they were high school uh, seniors, senior senior pictures, right? That was her thing. And it was so genius. And maybe this is something that photographers have always done. First time I'd ever seen it. She got this group of ambassadors. She got these teenagers to be ambassadors for her company. And they got, they earned a, a very small commission, but it was like a really cool thing to get selected to be one of her ambassadors and um and so every year she had a certain sort of launch period where they would basically recruit all these students to get their senior pictures taken with her and so really if you think about it that's influencer marketing before influencer marketing was a thing you know so i thought that was so smart and that's not what i'm suggesting that you do necessarily but these women could obviously be a sort of ambassador for you, although that would not be the primary objective. That's just sort of a nice little thing, right? Like they somehow become, you know, maybe I'll get to, I'll get, I'll, I'll, I will flesh this out a little bit more because I, I have it on a slide. So we'll get to that. The second thing was if you think about the Red Hat Society, right? Or any of these group of women, they identify, they identify under a certain motto i don't know what the motto is of red hat society but i'm sure it's like be fierce you know get you know put yourself out there live life you know life is just beginning after 50 you know whatever if you look at april pertwee who's in our group and she's got the um light beamers i love that because it's like so well branded and people all identify with the color yellow in her group and sunshine and sharing their stories and that's like their mission you know so it's like what what would that be for your group if you wanted to sort of like lightly brand it? You know, if you try too hard, it'll, it could be corny or it could land flat or people be like, what are you trying to do? And we, of course, I'm sure they love you and they would never think that you're trying to, you know, just completely cash in on, <laughs> on this lovely thing that you've got going. But, um, but you know, there is sort of um, a measured way about going about this. You can include them in in what you are developing into. Like, what what do you think our group should be? <clears throat> um, well, let's you know, I'm willing to do that because you said you're going to do this monthly. That's a huge undertaking, really, to commit to doing that monthly. So I think it's okay to ask for their something from them. You know, like whatever that may be so i just was like go make a commotion that could be fun it sounds like you've got these fierce women so maybe that could be your thing we're going to make a commotion um it could be a, cl a club that's all about growth so maybe every month or every other month there's a speaker um maybe membership could include one photo at the end of the year to commemorate that growth to somehow document that growth um and then that could coincide with your annual exhibit with the press release and the new like that you did this year right so you're going to do your show again that that will be the commemoration of the whole year together and your growth and then maybe the monthly dues could go to a cause of your group's choosing 
or it could go back into the club fund. And so like you don't make any money off of these membership fees necessarily, but the photographs, but then there's the, you, you make money on the back end with the people who, who book with you. Okay. So then I was thinking like, what would the topics be each month? So it, if you want to document growth and we're all growing, then maybe we talk about visibility, how to show up in the world as your best self, happiness, creativity, fitness, relationships, sex, adventure, food, travel, all the things that we want to talk about when we get together with a group of other women, right? And so I know I'm all over the place here, but that's just how the creative process is, right? Like we, you know, so, so I would love to hear your thoughts and, you know, but minimally speaking, I mean, definitely I would say no matter what you do with it, I think there is value in it for you on a business level. Uh, if it's not, if it doesn't take too much of your time and money to host these once a month, if you don't do anything formal, but get together and have coffee the way that you've been doing, I still think there's value because obviously there's ways each time you get together to talk about, cause you're always doing cool stuff, whether it's those cool custom Christmas card things that you did. Um, you're always doing fundraisers, stuff like that. And these women will be your, your champions and they will, they, they will be informally, they will be your ambassadors because they will. And then you could have, you know, in, in, uh, July or whenever you have, you know, your summer meeting, um, that could be a bring a friend meeting, you know, and Red Hat Society reshape the view of women in today's culture. Okay. That's their mission. I love it. I think once a month will make you exhausted. Yeah. I mean, especially if you get speakers and stuff um, and you have to send out announcements and all of that. <clears throat> can you share something with all the attendees that they can share so their connections and friends learn about you? Yes. Love that. Anybody want to like come off mic and add some suggestions for Christine before we move over to Scarlett's question? I do. I, I just can't figure out how to get my video on. Okay. Well, we can hear you. Okay. This is Eric. Um, I know it says Kay, but that's... I was going to say, wow, Kay, your voice has really gotten deeper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, i um, trying to get my video figured out here. I might have to leave and come back. But um, just, just thinking out loud, I mean, I've been involved in like a lot of things. Uh, uh, president of Kiwanis Club and um, I was in the Rotary and Optimist and all these yes. clubs and, awesome. and I've, I've, I've seen the Red Hats hanging out at the Denny's and that type of stuff <laughs> and and so I know a little bit about them and I went to the website and copy and pasted but anyway uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that I don't think it's too shameless to um, expect that with this new club that she's building that she can do the you know have to make money out of the deal you know what I mean? It's that's mm -hmm. what she does. This is this is her business. So I'm thinking some way to tie it to. Um, I think I think the theme, if if I'm if memory serves, it was something along the lines of uh, 50 women and 50 under 50 or something like that. Was that the original thing, or am I confused on another call? A plus for you, Eric. That that right. is what it was. Yeah. So uh, the idea that I was having was that some 50 year olds. Now I'm not saying every 50 year old. So this generalization and I'm not a woman, so I don't, I don't understand a lot of stuff, but anyway, um, some 50 year olds have 16, 17 year old kids. Mm -hmm. And you were just talking about graduation photos. And I would think a photographer might want to tie in with that. So I'm trying to think some type of a, you know, a mommy daughter thing, you know, where you can bring your daughter and this is all over the place too. Just like you said, the creative process is over, all over the place, but it, you know, they could bring, okay. Somebody said mother, daughter. Yes. So the idea would be um, bring your daughter because eventually, and this is this is the culmination here. I don't know. I'm not going to ask anybody's age, but let's pretend like currently she's 50. Okay. So eventually, these 17 year old kids are going to be 50 year old women. I mean, this is how life works. <laughs> God, God, God yeah, willing. Yeah. Right. God willing. Yeah. So the idea is we have a situation where if it's mommy brings daughter, pretty soon daughter brings daughter granddaughter and, and you know you have a situation where oh i qualify for this 50 under 50 thing myself and so i want to be you know that and you got 23 years of business that you just or i can't do the math 33 years of business that you just added to your, your portfolio so now you're 83 and you got a granddaughter coming to mother daughter anyway that was that was kind of like I, the, I, the idea there i hope christina listens to every word of this because i love your big thinking i think that is just 
fantastic. Oh, and by yeah. the way, yeah. I forgot that the obvious reason that you're getting more business is they need high school pictures. Did I mention that or did I skip over well, that? Yeah, you did. Okay. You mentioned you mentioned that, that and that and I love that. And and there is it could be like um or bring your sister, you know, they could have one where they bring their sister and or a woman that inspires them um could be the guest um or get a yeah, generations. It's so many things. Yeah, bring the grandmother too for photo or whatever yeah so like being a part of the club but also tying in some sort of photo package at different points i i just love it 